hello guys uh welcome back to my channel maison african motives still working on uh, mechano techniques and four so in this platform we shall have a continuation on gear drives uh working on the question paper which was written actually in uh, august 2021 uh which is a similar question that we had previously from the previous uh, from the other question but that we had i think it was april 2020 which was working with a spa uh, a set of uh, spa gears and uh, we talked about uh, this presentation that uh, it's all about the formulas that you're supposed to use or to take so i want us to just relate to this question in the previous question you see that most of the questions that you're being asked here are just the same as the ones that we had from the previous question again there we are given um, the velocity ratio which is a uh, 5s to 3 so we are given the velocity ratio of 5 s to 3 remember i told you that velocity ratio can be written as a fraction like this which is the same thing as like this so this is same as 5 over 3 which is velocity ratio is equal to remember the ratio for the velocity ratio is equated to ta over tb where ta is the gear wheel so we, we have the gear wheel and uh, we have got the pinion there. Okay, so if we're having the pinion or it can be NB over NA, which is now the rotational speed in revs per minute. So let's just leave this for the moment. The question, okay, we have to go to the module here, which is six millimeters. And also we have got if the pinion is 30 teeth so let's just use in this case the pinion as uh, the smaller uh, always the pinion is the smaller one so let's just use it as b because we know that so that it don't confuse us here so the pinion is going to be b okay for the pinion so we are given the number of teeth for the pinion so which is going to be tb all right which is equal to 30 teeth so they are 30 this one so b that is our pinion and that means our a is going to maintain itself as a gear wheel so that we don't confuse these two formulas uh, so that we don't interchange these formulas okay so now the question is Calculate the pitch circle diameter of both circles. Okay, so we need the pitch circle diameter. So where do we obtain the pitch circle diameter? Where is where is it coming from? All right, this one we know that is going to be taken from the module because it's the pitch circle diameter over the number of teeth. So just like the previous part, guys, you see that on gear wheel A, we do not have the number of teeth here. But here we already have the number of teeth and the module is there. So we can start by finding the pitch circle diameter for, for B, which is the pinion. All right. So we can start with the pinion in this case, which is going to be this time. Um, the module is equivalent to the pitch circle diameter for the pinion, which is B over tb let's just write this so that we understand that we are working with b which is the pinion so since i want to find the pitch circle diameter this one i can cross multiply to make this one the subject so it's one times the pitch circle diameter for b which is equal to the module times t so it's module times tb like this so i can substitute the values here that is the module is six millimeters then tb it's 30 so it's six times 30 which is in millimeters so it's going to give us 180 millimeters so that is the pitch circle diameter for b which is 180 millimeters all right for a now we must or we have to find the number of teeth for gear wheel which is the a so we are going to use this relationship here that i have written here since we are focusing with the number of teeth so we can use this relationship so using this ratio 
5 over 3 is equal to TA over TB from uh, the velocity ratio. All right, we are going to have, since we want to calculate this uh, A, so we can just substitute. Okay, let's just substitute, which is equal to TA over TB, which is the one that you're given of 30 here. So it can make sense when I substitute like this. So how can I find TA? I can simply remove this by multiplying by 30 here, by multiplying by 30 here. So this can cancel. That means I'm left with TA, which is equal to 30 times 5 over 3, which is going to give us something like a 50 there. So that's our TA is equal to 50. So I remember the purpose of calculating this was that we must calculate the pitch circle diameter, which is uh, for, for A, which is the gear wheel. So we are just going to make now the pitch circle diameter the subject already is the subject here. So we just write it as because this one is for A. So it's the pitch circle diameter. This time it's for A, which is the gear wheel. So it's going to be the module times TA, which is the number of teeth for A. So our module is the six times our TA which is 50 which is in millimeter uh, which is 50 this is the one that is in millimeter sorry okay still the answer is going to give us millimeters so it's going to be 300 six times this one that is a uh, 300 there in millimeters so that will be the pitch circle diameter for the gear wheel which is your a take note here guys this is for the gear wheel this is for the pinion which is b Right. so don't confuse these two all right so that is what we had from this part there then the question further on goes to get the center distance between the two shafts okay so now we need uh, the center distance so is if you are to cross check this is just one and the same thing like what we had in another part so the center distance is still the same thing which is our c so remember that the center distance c is equivalent to module over 2 because it's in between the two times ta plus tb that is what you are going to have in this case as for for a spark gear like that because we just have two gears there your A and your B. So you are going to work with the two. So it's A and your B. So there's nothing much. You just need to add. So the module is six, remember, over two times TA and TB, where we have these values now. Okay. Um, TA here is the one, this one that we had 50. And our TB here was 30. So it's 50 plus 30. Okay. So that's going to give us 50 plus 30. You take those TA and TB that you had before. So if we add 50 plus, uh, that is going to give us 80. But this 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 80 there. This is going to give us 80 and 3 times 80, which is a 240 millimeters. Remember, this is in millimeters. So that is what we are going to have, guys, um, for this part. So as you can see, questions can be related. And they are still asking the same thing if you are to cross-check this one. And the same thing that we had even from the previous uh, question paper that we had. Okay, let's quickly rest through this one. The outside diameter of both, take note of both gears there. So the formula for the outside diameter is supposed to be like this uh, i think i talked about this one previously that the outside diameter is uh, the module times t plus two like this that is the outside diameter so if it is for the gear wheel which is a the outside 
diameter for the gear which is a is going to be the module times t a which is the number of teeth for a plus two like this all right so remember the module is the six so it's going to be six times t a the one that we calculated we had the ones we calculated this value which was 50 here so it's going to be 50 plus 2 like this so that is your for a for b it is going for the pinion it's going to be outside for b diameter is uh, the module times t b plus 2 like this just from this formula you just change this this must correspond a and a b and b so this is going to be the module 6 times tb was the one that we had already given tb which was a 30 there so your tb was 30 plus 2 like this all right so now we can simplify further this is going to give us 6 times um 52 here which is um 312 millimeters because this was in millimeters so this is outside diameter for a then for b is 6 times 32 which is uh, 6 times 32 which is uh, 192 millimeters so that is the outside diameter for for b so that is what we had that is what we had in this case and uh, you see that uh, these guys they are just repeating one and the same thing okay then the total depth we also talked about this similar question of calculating the total depth that the drilling cutter must be fed into the gear blank in order to cut the teeth which is uh, all right um, total depth that is uh, the total depth in this case I will remember that's your addendum plus your addendum okay uh, that's the spelling there all right so where are we going to have the addendum and dependum from we have to take them from the module there because we know that the addendum is equal to the module so which is equal to six millimeters because the module is there we are given the module here six millimeters so the dendam is going to be taken from there this is addendum guys like this all right so this is going to be the dendam which is 1,157 times m which is the module so it's 1,157 times 6 which is going to give us um 6 comma if i'm not mistaken 6,942 millimeters there all right so from this part you see that uh, the total depth you're going to add so the total depth just like the previous part you add addendum to the dendum which is this addendum your module of six plus the dendum of six comma nine four two which is in millimeters so it's going to be twelve comma nine four two in millimeters so that can be the total depth so as we can see guys that's uh, that's how they ask questions uh, on gear drives and obtaining marks like 15 marks for just that guys it's actually something else so you need to revise uh, much question papers and revisions you see that it's a repetition throughout so that's it guys from Mason African motives working on mechanical techniques and for till we meet again.